Covering the Palm Beaches and the Treasure Coast, this is WPBF 25 News at 11. Balding is typically thought to be a problem that men have, but 40% of Americans suffering with hair loss are women. For both sexes, hair loss can be devastating. This whole hairline has changed for me. Ruth Benjamin has always had thin hair, but nothing prepared her for what happened two years ago. I really felt like I was shedding. I could see the hair. It was on the, on the bathroom sink. It was on the floor. Even if I combed it, I could literally feel it. It was falling on my shoulders. It was a big blow to her self-esteem. Hair is a woman's greatest asset. It can change the way she looks, and it's very critical to how she feels about herself. Hold it right there. Marcia Schildhorn knows just how Ruth feels. I was frantic. I wanted to have a transplant because it was very embarrassing. Both women came to see Boca Raton hair restoration specialist, Dr. Alan Bauman. Advances in laser therapy have changed the way doctors treat hair loss in men and women. Laser therapy uses uh, light energy to penetrate the scalp and into the skin where it's converted into cellular energy and it helps follicles that are weak grow thicker, stronger, healthier looking hair. On the inside of the laser cap, we've got 224 separate laser diodes. Both Marsha and Ruth started using a laser cap. The cap, along with this hair wand, uses low-level laser technology to stimulate hair growth. The comb just got FDA approval. It's an exciting time for the field of low-level laser therapy. We're seeing more and more FDA clearances come through. We're seeing more and more clinical trials. And of course, we're gaining more and more experience. The cap is worn for 30 minutes every other day. I wear it and I work on the computer, I do my housework, sometimes I wear it in the car. It was like part of my routine. You know, I would wash my face, brush my teeth, get in bed, and I wore it for a half hour just relaxing. It actually helped me relax. I feel wonderful because there's nothing better than looking at yourself in the mirror and having hair. And my hair has never looked better. And there is now a new simple genetic test that can help women determine if they're at risk of losing their hair and whether they're good candidates for a certain type of medication long used to treat men who are balding. What we're finding is that now we can be a heck of a lot more accurate in prescribing Propecia off-label to postmenopausal women with hair loss. And the reason why is because of this genetic test. It's a test some would say is long overdue. When you're happy with your hair, you're happy with yourself. Hair loss is primarily hereditary. It can also be influenced by a number of different things, stress, nutrition, illness, medications, hormone imbalance, and it may take six months to a year to see the final results from treatments like laser light therapy.